liked that new intro, um, I wanted to come on here and just chat with you guys. Um, I'm going to try and make this the last video that I talk about this, um, just because it is really hard, but this past weekend I had to, um, take medicine to help me pass the miscarriage completely and I'll I'm sorry if you hear breathing in the back that's my dog but um I had to take this medicine and you, the first one is you take it in the doctor's office right away and it stops the the hormone that tells your body that you're pregnant um, and then the next day you have to take four pills and you have to put them up your, don't want to get demonetized, so I'm not going to say it, Virgin. <laughs> um, and my doctor was like, it's going to be kind of painful and, but she didn't like tell me the extreme of it. Well, I'll get into that later, but, um, so, I'm trying not to cry because I actually did my makeup. So, it was, like, at first, it took about, like, so it took about, like, 20 minutes, I'd say, for it to kick in, and then, um, I started having like cramps, like a period, and I was like, oh, this will be easy if I can do this all day long. And then it started to get worse, and I was like, okay, like, she said this could happen, but she didn't tell me like, oh, you should take Tylenol or ibuprofen before you start this. And so I barely had anything to eat. I had taquitos and maybe like an orange, I think that's it. And I went over to my aunt's. Um, and hung out with my grandma and stuff. And then I was like, can I get in your bathtub? Like, I'm in so much pain and I can't be at my health house, which we can't because it's just so dirty. But, um, we're like, <laughs> I'm like in the bathtub and I'm talking to my little cousin and she's talking to me and she's telling me about her stuff. I'm like, okay, this, the water is helping. It's fine. And then my grandma comes and I'm like in writhing pain <laughs> and my aunt has a a son a baby um he's seven months I think S yeah I think he's like seven months <laughs> and I was like jokingly I was like maybe holding him got my kick started my this whole thing and then it just like went downhill like in pain um at first it was like coming in waves and then it was like constant like it wouldn't stop and so this medicine actually makes you have contractions and like open your cervix and dilate you and so I've never gone through this before and so it was like excruciating pain I was like at a 10 and then later it like went to like waves and I was like okay I can handle the waves like it's okay and then it hit again of like consistent like back-to-back -back contractions and um it was in literally the worst pain of my life um I was on my hands and knees in the bathtub like trying to like get in the in the moment of like in it like trying to get my body to just like relax and I was breathing and I was starting to get sick like throwing up because of the pain and we called my doctor my OB and she's on the phone and she can hear me in the background like moaning in pain because I really was like I tried every position you can try in the bath I was trying squatting standing laying down legs up hands and knees everything I tried everything and then nothing helped me and I was in so much pain Christian was at work and I had my grandma and like Arena was which is my aunt she um 
she was there for me and I, I've looked up to her my whole life when it came to like having babies and a family and all that kind of stuff because she's been like so powerful and I just wanted to like get through it without like medicine and there was a point I was like three and a half hours in to sitting in a tub in the hot water throwing up that I was like I can't do this anymore like I really can't there, there was just something it was just like outrageously painful and then I started bleeding and I'm sorry if this is triggering um to anybody I before I get into the extra st the the stuff that's harder to talk about please if this if miss if anything to do with blood or miscarriage is triggering to you please don't watch because I am going to talk about everything that happened and a lot of that has to do with both of those things so please don't watch if this is triggering to you okay and then I uh, they got me out of the tub and I was sitting on the toilet for like 30 minutes just like in pain and I try to sit up I try to go out in the living room but before that I was sitting in the bath and a bunch of blood came out and it like filled the tub of my blood and I had some placenta come out and like the lining of my uterus which was like really hard and emotional to see and then I went out like I went out to the living room my hair is all like thick of blood water and I'm just in so much pain and we're leaving and I'm trying my mom I'm on the phone with my mom and I just kept saying like I want my mom I want my mom I want Christian I want my mom um it's hard because my mom lives in Hawaii and there there's a part of me that is like I wish that you could just fly here in like a second be here for me but I understand like what she's doing in her life and I'm really proud of her sometimes I just wish that she was there for certain things and then we're getting in the car my mom's like call your OB and see if she can prescribe you something so you don't have to go to the emergency room but like talk to her and make sure and she's on the phone and she's like how's your pain and I'm like it's like an eight and a half nine or whatever or nine and a half I don't remember what I said and she's like I think you should go to the emergency room and we're just right literally like five minutes away and uh and, uh, we're going, we go to the emergency room, and, like, I see someone I know, and I'm just like, D I don't pretend, like, I'm pretending I don't know you right now, I'm in so much pain. And then, they, when I first got there, they give you these little bags, like the throw-up bags, and we got in there, and I, as soon as I walked into that door, I was just throwing up into that bag, like, I pretty much filled that whole thing with throw up, which is disgusting. I'm sorry if that grosses you out, but it grosses me out too. And then we get in there and I get in my gown. They get me hooked up and they're, I hate needles. I used to be able to like watch them take my blood out of my body, but now I'm like, nope, I feel like I'm going to pass out, like, can't look so my grandma's holding my hand let me tell you something really fast my grandma sat with me for 11 hours in total that day she sat with me in the bathroom at my aunt's she sat with me in the hospital until midnight when we got released and then she took care of me for two days after that or a day and a half a day yeah a day and a half and she's still like coming to my appointments and stuff but I just want to thank my grandma because without her, I would not have been able to do this. Anyways, back to the story. So, um, we get in there and they're putting the IV in and I hate the IV. And then, um, I, I'm a hard poke. That's what they call it when you have like super small veins and it's like really hard to find them. It took them like 30 minutes to find a vein. Um, to put the IV in and then they actually poked me 
right here instead of like flat so my arm was like this the whole time I don't know if you can see it but it's a little bit bruised right there but that's where they poked me um and then they gave me nausea medicine first um which helped so much I didn't need any more um nausea medicine I wasn't sick anymore after that but the pain was bad like I was still nauseous but I wasn't throwing up anymore which was good but then, they, um, I was, like, in pain, so they gave me this, like, low-key, or the, no, sorry, not low-key, high-key ibuprofen, and that didn't do anything. Uh, my pain was still really bad, and so they gave me a narcotic. I don't remember what it's called, it starts with a D, and they put it in my IV, and they, uh, they only could give me a half a dose because... I was like I'm gonna pass out like I don't feel good I also wasn't in a good headspace so my breathing was like this the whole time I did not feel good and my grandma said that I lost color in my face so they just gave me half a dose um and then they um I was like feeling good feeling you know high <laughs> and the medicine pretty much took away my pain completely which was nice, um, but they would still come, but they would like come and like punch me basically with like a punch of pain and then it would just back out, which was like not bad, but it still sucked. Um, and I was listening to this song called The White Bear about a miscarriage and then another song about um, my babies being with our Lord and Savior and then I was like trying to fall asleep my doctor came in and was talking to me um and basically was like let me talk to your ob and make sure that you're all good um to go because the pain the, the medicine was helping and then i was like can i have some medicine like the rest of that dose so that i can go home and like go to bed and not be in pain and they're like yep and so they did that and that that last bit of dose I was like <laughs> like super high talking to my mom on the phone her boyfriend's listening and he's like cracking up um but the, I was able to like laugh and like breathe without like being in pain and um then we got home and Christian got off work and he followed us to my grandma's house and then I like put this like one of those bed pad things that they have um underneath me and then I had a like one of those really long pads that like have the um flaps in the butt part and in the front so I was um and then we get home, blah, 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 like all that. And then I lay down and I take melatonin to like really knock me out. And I went, I fell asleep and I slept for a long time. And I got up and I was like, I feel really wet. I'm like, what is that feeling? Maybe I like peed myself or whatever. No, it was blood. Um, I had filled the entire pad, my shorts and the bed pad that was underneath me of blood. But I was not in pain. Um, they did send me home with, like, some medicine. Like, the hard, like, Oxycontin. Oxycontin. Oxy like, all that kind of stuff. Um, but I didn't need it. I didn't need to take any of it. After I went to the emergency room, which was nice. And then... And then, um... We, I took, like, I slept again, I, I slept over at my grandma's again, but then I, like, took a shower and stuff, and when I took that shower, that was when, like, everything, the rest of everything came out, and I chose not to explore the things that came out of my body just because I already had a traumatic night, and I did not need to be an even more <laughs> traumatic state of mind so I said my goodbyes and
My grandma was with me to hold my hand. And just said bye. And it's still super traumatic. Um, I was joking to my mom. I was like, I'm just going to, whenever I get the chance to have a baby again or try for a baby epidural um but I just want to say if you're going through a miscarriage and you feel like you're alone you're not alone it's really hard and difficult and I'm posting this story because I want other people to know that they're not alone and that's important to me because I've watched a lot of miscarriage videos and they've helped me want to post this video but also help me heal my heart. Um, and I'm still, it's still going to take time to heal my heart but um, I just wanted, there's always going to be a girl or a woman out there that's like feeling alone and I hope that one day that they can hop on YouTube and look at my video and that can help them or this video can help them and I just want to thank everyone that's supported me through this past couple of weeks and especially this weekend but that is my miscarriage story and I'm gonna be more uplifting and positive for the rest of the videos um, from here on out, but I hope you, I hope this video can help you, um, go through whatever you're going through, and I'm here for you. If, you, if anyone needs to talk, my, my socials are in the beginning intro, and you can DM, send me a DM, and I will respond to you guys, um, see you soon. Bye, guys.